Welcome to our virtual vi video log series, Sensing Deep Space. I'm Dr. Jancy McPhee, the Executive Director of SciArt Exchange. I am a neuroscientist and science communicator, and I'm the founder of SciArt Exchange. With me is Ari Peralta, SciArt Exchange's board chair, to tell you more about our new project. Ari, can you please tell us a bit about yourself? Hi, Jancy, and thank you for having me. I'm also a neuroscientist, uh, but with a focus on sensory design. And I'm so excited to be here on behalf of our board of SciArt Exchange to talk about this exciting multi-sensory project. Thanks, Ari. It's always a pleasure to have a chat with you. So uh, just to catch everybody up, our nonprofit aims to bring together science and art to inspire, prepare, and convene people to solve future grand challenges on Earth and space. Now, that's a grand vision for us. But today, we are going to talk about some of our steps towards that grand vision. We are working to create a groundbreaking multi-sensory art installation about the captivating giant deep space galaxy cluster known as Pandora's Cluster. Now, the technical name for Pandora's Cluster is actually ABEL 2744, and it's about 4 billion light years away from Earth, so pretty, pretty far away. Its beauty and e enigmatic nature have sparked our curiosity and imagination for decades. Astronomers have been studying it using the Hubble, Spitzer, Chandra, and most recently, the James Webb Space Telescopes and their associated advanced technologies. So Ari and I first developed the concept. Basically, I think Ari, if I remember correctly, it was pretty much like the first time that we met because we, we were able to immediately understand that we had this shared interest in multimedia and multi-sensory artwork about space and science. And we also both had this really keen interest in large data sets and how do we transform that information so that humans can interpret and truly understand that. Do you remember that, Ari? I do remember that meeting. And you know, and you're right. I think for both of us, we just have this innate curiosity for space. And also, like here on Earth, how we sometimes rely on our senses. And we can't always believe what our eyes, ears, or noses uh, tell us. And I think uh, these different types of curiosities and these different disciplines brought us together on this project on how can we really deepen people's connection to deep space. Uh, and with some of the new technologies uh, that we are now uh, being able to see new lenses of space, it's great now to really reimagine how is it that we feel space. We are very excited about all the partners associated with this project. We are very grateful to the Communities Foundation of Texas for supporting the generation of this installation and to the Eisenman Art Center for being willing to host this, this installation. Then we have the students and faculty at the University of Texas at Dallas helping us out, the creative direction of the amazing Ben Heim, and also astronomy support at the Space Telescope Science Institute. So we've got an amazing group here to help us on this journey. What happens when you bring together art and science to enhance science communication, learning, and understanding? So this is a first experience for us but a natural evolution for us to start playing in this field. I think it's an exciting time, right? We're, we're asking ourselves how we can experience the universe that is beyond our human perception. And today we do have the means to translate some of these non-experienceable things for us as humans, but to bring them and translate them to the domain of our senses through immersive technologies, through multi-sensory integration strategies and through design thinking. And I think what's beautiful about SciArt is that it's a safe place for engineers, architects, 
uh, designers, artists, all to work together with science um, and really not using art as a derivative, uh, but really using art as a medium to communicate these things. And just as much as it's been an incredible opportunity to uh, bring on board artists like Ben Heim uh, to the forefront, who's a data artist, uh, audio visual artist, really fascinated with uh, sonification of data, data sonification, uh, which is basically taking what we normally see as a lot of visual input in data and experiencing it through another sense, through our auditory sense. We've already hit a couple of interesting challenges, you know, learning how to talk to each other, using the same language, um, compromising on our enthusiasm. Everyone is so excited about all the millions of things that we could study as kind of sub aspects of Pandora's cluster. And, and it's, it's already been an interesting uh, journey and challenge. And I know you've sat in a lot of those meetings. I think one of the most exciting things about this project is really the cross-pollination of information that's happening. And SciArt, whether it's through its contests or through some of its new ventures, uh, such as uh, Sensing Deep Space, Pandora's Cluster, we're always committed to bringing these different communities together. And when we said earlier about creating a safe space, I think it's now about identifying that this is a framework in the making. And we learn through each one of these different products and, and projects that we do. I think what's interesting about this project in particular it's that we all have this fascination for how do we create experiences that can be felt and embodied, but that also provide educational value so that scientific um, explanations, theories, and, and uh, more, much more complex information can still be delivered in a way that people can experience, can feel, and can really gain um, towards understanding better our place in the universe. And ultimately it's about empowerment. And when we empower communities to work together and giving them a common mission, such as an immersive experience, which is what we're doing with this particular project, it's really about breaking down the barriers that are typically dividing us like departments and things like that, uh, the degrees that we have, and each one come with a particular vocabulary and, and best practices, et cetera. But when we actually fuse these together, to actually move forward, what we see is a beautiful integration, not just of ideas, but similar to the senses, which is why we're doing this as a multi-sensory experience, it adds up greater than the sum of its parts, than its individual parts. And that's really truly, the, for me, the magic uh, behind Sired Exchange and behind the framework that Jancy and the entire team have just dedicated so much time to how do we exchange as much information as possible? How do we cross pollinate as much as possible? But how do we add value in a way that's greater than our individual contributions? We invite you to take a behind the scenes peek at everything that we're doing. This is unpolished, but it's the real behind the scenes of us figuring this out together. And I think this goes back to our commitment as a board and as an organization for SciArt to really show the behind the scenes, show the challenges that we experience, but also more than that, empower others with the solutions that we come up with to overcome those challenges. So we're excited to have you here. Thank you for having me on this first session of the vlog. Thank you. And it's, uh... Lovely to have this opportunity to engage the world in this amazing journey. So thank you very much and until the next video.